পার্ট ওয়ান পার্ট টু সব জায়গাতে যদি মাল্টি সিস্টেম ইনভলভমেন্টের কোনো কোয়েশ্চেন আসে তখন কিন্তু অবশ্যই আমাদের ডিফারেন্সিয়ালে বাস্কুলাইটিস চিন্তা করতে হবে এবং কোন বাস্কুলাইটিস কি ধরনের প্রেজেন্টেশন নিয়ে আসে এগুলো সম্পর্কে আমাদের মেডিকেল <laughs> মানে অনেক ধরনের বাস্কুলাইটিস আছে আপনারা জানেন আমরা বিভিন্ন ভাবে সেটাকে ক্লাসিফাই করি আমাদের ছবিতে আছে যে আর্টারি মানে লাইক সরি অরটা এন্ড ইজ ব্রাঞ্চেস এবং एग्जांपल्स হচ্ছে টাটা সো আর্টারিটিস এন্ড জায়ান্ট সো আর্টারিটিস দেন হচ্ছে মিডিয়াম ভেসেলস ভাস্কুলারিটিস মিডিয়াম ভেসেলস ভাস্কুলারিটিস মানে কি যে এগুলা যে ভাস্কুলারিটিস গুলো আর্টারিস উইথ ভাস্কুলার ওয়াল কি ইনভলভ করে হ্যাঁ সেগুলাকে আমরা বলেছি মিডিয়াম ভেসেলস ভাস্কুলারিটিস এবং এটা एग्जांपल হচ্ছে পলিআর্টারিটিস নোভোসা এন্ড কাওয়াসাকি ডিজিজ আপনার কিছুটা হেল্প হবে ঠিক আছে দেখানোর উদ্দেশ্য বা এই ছবিটা দেখানোর উদ্দেশ্য আরেকবার আর কি কথার আসলে রিপিটেশন হচ্ছে বাট এটাই ইনভলভমেন্ট আমাদের বোঝাচ্ছে যে আসলে ফার্স্টিস মিনস মার্কি সিস্টেম ইনভলভমেন্ট আপনারা যারা এমআরসিপি পার্ট ওয়ান পার্ট টু পাস করে পেসেসে যখন যাবেন পরীক্ষা যখন দিবেন একটা পেশেন্টে র্যাশ আছে প্যারপেপার পার্টির আছে জয়েন্ট পেন আছে সেগুলা কিন্তু অনেকগুলো ডিডি আসবে এর মধ্যে একটা ডিডি কিন্তু অবশ্যই ফার্স্টিলাইটি র্যাশ বা ফার্স্টিলাইটিস থাকবে আমাদের এগুলো মনে রাখতে হবে 
এখন আমরা থিওরিটিক্যাল যে বিভিন্ন বাস্তুলাইটিস গুলো করলাম থিওরিটিক্যালি আমরা এগুলা একটু একটু করে পড়ব এবং কিভাবে আমরা বুঝতে পারবো যে কোনটা ডায়াগনোসিস কোন টাইপের বাস্কুলাইটিস সেটা আমরা ডিটেইল যাব তো সেটা বলার আগে আমি একটু বলে নেই এমআরসিপি পার্ট 1 থেকে क्वेश्चन কিভাবে আসে বাস্কুলাইটিস থেকে পার্ট 1 ইউজুয়ালি একদম স্ট্রেট কাট আপনার ডায়াগনোসিসের মতো আসে যে پیشنটের সিম্পটমস আছে কিছু হয়তো ব্লাড ইনভেস্টিগেশনস কিছু হয়তো ফিচারস দেয়া আছে সো হোয়াট ইজ দ্য ডায়াগনোসিস সো আপনারা ওখানে আপনারা ধরে ডায়াগনোসিসটা করতে হবে এটা ট্রাইগ্লো फर्मेशन फ्रमिकोम inflammatory granulomatous pan arthritis of the major arteries of the affected vessels so it have the affected vessels of pan arthritis and puro artery shobgulo wall ke involve kore and it is a granulomatous inflammation that's it it typically causes occlusion of the aorta and the ascending arch of the aorta aorta and branches ko lage kore and aro detail ekhane porbo subclavian arteries commonly affected and the subclavian still synonym of occur jehetu to subclavian artery to involvement hocche amra jehetu large vessels er माल्टीटेल क्वेश्चन पालसेंथ छोटे फिचार्सिटेशन 
like yeah 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 yes sir yeah is yes sir and cr code usually seems elevated level of contraction 3 may be used as a useful useful marker of this is where you know each bit at the to be that a genius like schematically above a lack of the patient and night sweat uh neck pain my chest is comfort people and the patient has to be able to examination is my keep up a patient blood pressure might be high asymmetric blood pressure between the arms the implication asymmetric pulses even absent pulses can be found এবার আসে আমরা কি কি ইনভেস্টিগেশনস করব প্রথমে পড়ি যে কি অ্যাসোসিয়েশন আছে রেনাল আর্টারিস সেনোসিসের একটা অ্যাসোসিয়েশন আছে ট্রিটমেন্ট করা হয় হচ্ছে কর্টিকোস্টেরয়েড উইথ অ্যাডিশন অফ স্টেরয়েড স্পেয়ারিং এজেন্ট আর লাইক মেথোট্রেক্সাইড অ্যাজ আ থ্রেপি অ্যাট দা মেইনস্ট অফ থেরাপি অ্যাজ আ রুল অফ থাম আপনি মনে রাখতে পারেন যে কোনো ভাস্কুলারাইটিসের ট্রিটমেন্টে আমরা আসলে স্টেরয়েড ইউজ করি ইন দা ফর্ম অফ মিথাইল প্রেডনিসোলন অর প্রেডনিসোলন এবং এটার সাথে স্টেরয়েড স্পেয়ারিং এজেন্ট ইউজ করা হয় পরবর্তীতে নেক্সট লার্জ ভেসেল ভাস্কুলারিটিস দ্যাট ইজ টেম্পোরাল আর্টারিটিস টেম্পোরাল আর্টারিটিসটা আমাদের পরীক্ষার জন্য খুব ইম্পর্টেন্ট অনেক ক্লিয়ার ক্লিয়ার क्वेश्चन আছে টেম্পোরাল আর্টারিটিস क्वेश्चन আর সাধারণত হয় বয়স্ক পেশেন্ট পেশেন্ট হেডেক নিয়ে আসে ভিজুয়াল ডিফিকাল্টি নিয়ে আসে প্রত্যেকটা আর্টারিটিসের সাথে আপনি দুই তিনটা পয়েন্ট এভাবে চেক করে রাখবেন যেমন টাকা এসে আমরা কখন চিন্তা করব when the patient should be female young asian and asymmetric pulses bp asymmetry ei type er jinish hola temporal arthritis er sathe amra ki korbo patient elderly hobe patient er headache thakbe patient er visual difficulty thakte pare ei dhorone patient er part elevated esr thakbe eigulo amra chinta korbo temporal arthritis is a large vessel vasculitis ebong eta commonly association thakbe with polymyalgia rheumatic er sathe histology shows changes which characteristically skip lesion eta temporal arthritis skip lesion paoa jay of the affected artery thik ache mane ekhane kichu ongsho bhalo thake kichu ongsho abar damage thake ei jonno jeta amra jekhane theke biopsy nei সেখানে কিন্তু ফাইন্ডিং টিপিক্যাল ফাইন্ডিং আমরা নাও পেতে পারি এবং এটা খুব ইম্পর্টেন্ট ইট ইস আ ক্লিনিক্যাল এমার্জেন্সি কারণ আপনি যখনই সাসপেক্ট করবেন আপনার হাই ডোজের স্টেরয়েড সাথে সাথে শুরু করে দিতে হবে বিকজ ইট ক্যান সেভ দ্য ভিশন অফ দ্য পেশেন্ট ফিচার্স কি থাকে ইউজুয়ালি এলজারলি পেশেন্ট অ্যাবাউট সিক্সটি ইয়ার্স ইউজুয়ালি ভেরি হ্যাপি ডান্স এড লেস দ্যান ওয়ান মান্থ হেডেক থাকে এইটি ফাইভ পার্সেন্ট পেশেন্ট পেশেন্টে জব রডিকেশন থাকে জব রডিকেশন মানে কি পেশেন্ট কিভাবে বলে পেশেন্ট খাবার যখন খায় খাবার যখন চিউ করে তখন তার চোয়াল ব্যথা হয় ঠিক আছে ইট ইস এ ভেরি স্পেসিফিক সাইন ফর টেম্পোর আর্থ্রাইটিস ভিজুয়াল ডিস্টারবেন্স সেকেন্ডারি টু অ্যান্ট্রি ইস্টমিক অপটিক নিউরোপ্যাথি যেটাকে এআইওএন বলা হয় এবং এইটা খুব এটা যদি ডেভেলপ করে ফিফটিন টু টোয়েন্টি পার্সেন্ট পেশেন্ট ক্যান ডেভেলপ পারমানেন্ট ভিজুয়াল লস এবং এটি সি ফর ফ্রি অফ কমপ্লিকেশন দ্যাটস হোয়ে আপনি যখনই টেম্পোর আর্থ্রাইটিস সাসপেক্ট করবেন আপনার হাই ডিজিস স্টেরয়েড শুরু করে দিতে হবে এবং পেশেন্টকে এক্সামিনেশন করে আমরা কি পেতে পারি টেন্ডার ক্যালকাবল টেম্পোর আর্থ্রি ফিচার্স অফ পলিমালজি রিমেটিক কি কি থাকে এই টিম মর্নিং স্টিফনেস ইন প্রক্সিমাল লিং মাসলস থাকে অলসো ল্যাথার্জি ডিপ্রেশন লোকের ফিভার অ্যানার্জি ওয়েটনেস এগুলো সিস্টেমিক ফিচার্স অফ অস্কুলাইটিস এর সব ধরনের অস্কুলাইটিস এর এই ধরনের ফিচার্স গুলো থাকে চান্স অফ আর্থ্রাইটিস শুড অলওয়েজ বি কনসিডারড ইন এলদারলি পেশেন্ট উইথ হেডেক অকুলার সিম্পটম সিস্টেমিক সিম্পটমস এন্ড হাই ইএস যে পয়েন্ট আমি ফার্স্ট থেকে বলছিলাম in elderly patient jansel arthritis is a common presentation of the acute monocular visual loss so patient visual loss ne aste pare Investigation number keep up with inflammatory markers with the high ESR usually about 50 per 50 millimeter per hour even which a patient that can be 100 to upper attack the body. ESR can be within normal range. In fact, the 10% patient of you know, GC, giant cell, it is a temporal artery, it is a item now, it is a giant cell arthritis. Temporal artery biopsy could be other, which shows the skip patients. Uh, certain sections of the affected artery is damaging the others. A negative, negative temporal artery biopsy can occur in up to 50% of the patients, often because the sample region was not involved in the pathological process therefore it is not sensitive enough to rule out the temporal arthritis jisha bojha gache amra prothome bolchi it is a skip lesions ei jonno amra jekhan theke hoyto biopsy nichhi blindly shekhane amra hoyto findings ta nao dite pari ha ebo ekhane kintu necrotizing granuloma paoa jay thik ache ebong ai ki interesting byapar hocche temporal arthritis e kintu creatinine findings normal thake ebong emg o normal thake ekhane patient ke dekha jacche je palpable amra dhorle pabo je apnar temporal artery when it will be tender as well treatment ki hocche high dose prednisolone there should be a dramatic response eta kintu arekta temporal arthritis e arekta apnar features bolte pare je patient ke steroid deyar sathe sathe ekta drastically response kore so it is not a diagnostic uh, if not the diagnosis uh, diagnosis should be reconsidered mane apni steroid dilen 
তারপর পেশেন্ট ফর মানে সাধারণত দুই এক দিনের মতো ফর্টি এইট আওয়ার্স এর মধ্যে ইম্প্রুভমেন্ট হয় এটা যদি ইম্প্রুভমেন্ট না হয় দেন আমাদেরকে Also, low-dose aspirin should be considered as it has been shown to reduce the rate of visual loss and cerebrovascular accident in GCA. Current guideline tree will say uncomplicated GCA, which has no jaw or tongue prodication or visual symptoms, which has prednisone of 40 to 60 milligram delay. But if you have complicated GCA, which has a visual informant, or the jaw or tongue prodication, then we have to worry about how the visual loss is evolving and there is a history of MRC serial CT, then we have to make a prednisone of 5 milligram to 1 gram daily for 3 days for আমাদের <laughs> Once the once they and the abnormalities are resolved, the dose of corticosteroid can be reduced and usually stopped within two years. So that's the two years I'm under lack. That's what I'm first of all saying up. The patient should be monitored for recurrence throughout the tapering. Yes, sir, every four four weeks, if you do three months, if I'm not asked to recur problem until the cessation of the therapy. It is important uh, that uh, to know that pathological findings of joint cell arthritis persist for one to two weeks following initiation of the corticosteroid, and therefore treatment should not be delayed to obtain the vaccine. And our company vaccine is waiting for us. And our treatment should be delayed. Now, because our both these things are medical emergency, and we have to set the vision of the eye of the patient. That's why we have to start the treatment. Then our report will be that our joint cell arthritis is a commonly overlapped type of polymyalgia rheumatoid. What is that? It usually presents about elderly patient about 60 years, usually rapid onset, typically presents with pain, stiffness of the shoulder and pelvic cardiac muscle. Yeah. Acting morning stiffness in the proximal muscle is active. But the morning stiffness is very good. When you have pneumatic arthritis, you have a lot of pain. You have a lot of short duration, but the morning stiffness is active. Also, mild polyarthralgia, lethargy, depression, low grade fever, you have a lot of pain. Investigation in ESR have a lot of pain, about 40 millimeter have a lot of pain. with prompt immediate treatment with steroid. CRP can be raised as well. Alkanin phosphatase is an active phase reactant and is re, uh, raised in approximately a third of the patient with polymyalgia rheumatica. The patient has normal setting, normal treatment, any method. The kind of prednisolone day, third and active patient has with a giant cell arthritis, not just polymyalgia rheumatica suspect. But this is a lot of steroid, but this steroid should be low dose. 50 milligram once daily, it will show the dramatic response. Response to moderate dose of steroid can be useful in confirming the diagnosis of PMR. The maximum dose of prednisolone should not exceed the 20 milligram once daily. Patients should report 70% improvement of symptoms within three to four weeks, and inflammatory markers should have normalized by this patient. Polymers will meet with the patient on a shoma, on a gene portion to steroid to continue to put just like GC, the, that is uh, giant cell arthritis. এবার আমরা আমাদের মিডিয়াম ভেসেলস ভাস্কুলাইটিস গুলাতে মুভ করছি প্রথমে হচ্ছে প্যান পলি আর্থ্রাইটিস নোভেসা এটা আপনাদের পরীক্ষার জন্য ইম্পর্টেন্ট এরকম মাল্টি সিস্টেম ইনফরমেটে क्वेश्चन থাকে বাট পলি আর্থ্রাইটিস নোভেসা দুটো ফিচারস আপনি খেয়াল করবেন যেটা ইউজুয়ালি পালমোনারি কোন ইনফরমেট থাকে না লাং ইনফরমেট থাকে না এবং সাধারণত এটার অ্যাসোসিয়েশন থাকে হেপাটাইটিস বি সবটা যখন সিনারি থাকে এবং পলি আর্থ্রাইটিস নোভেসা আবার মেল এর মধ্যে বেশি হয় ক্লাসিফাই করা হয় 
features fever of amel is after your weight loss hypertension monomyelitis multiplex that means sensory involvement that is neurological involvement sensory motor polyneuropathy testicular pain eta interesting eta kintu diagnostic criteria er moddhe ache ha patient er panel polyarthritis nodosa testicular pain libido reticular issue we can see the patient here from rash we are saying na erokom then hematuria renal failure p answer that is perinuclear uh, Anti-nuclear cytoplasmic antibody are found in around 20% of the patient with classic pain. Hepatitis B serology is positive. We about one third of the patient. Because if an our patient has vasculitis, we have to look at it. Our if an our granuloma, we have to look at it. So that investigation. Our team police team, they can any reason for this. Right? Now, either a poly or pain. Our they can do biopsy for it. Right? Our they do temporal artery biopsy for it. Our jansel artery to say biopsy for it. Right? Pain can be diagnosed by an MRI machine. Magnetic resonance and geogram. MRI test can be important. Because MRI test, our ego constriction dilatation. It can be a bleeding appearance. Yeah. If the constriction has been about full level, constriction has been. If you look closely, you will be able to see. There are many bleeding appearances. If you look at the gold gold, if you look at the gold gold, you can see that there are many bleeding appearances. If you look at the gold gold, you can see that there are many bleeding appearances. If you look at the gold gold, you can see that there are many bleeding appearances. If you look at the gold gold, you can see that there are many bleeding appearances. If you look at the gold gold, you can see that there are many bleeding appearances. Hepatitis B surface antigen can be positive. Jadi, aku cuci lama one third of the case. Tanya itu jadi strongly positive. Angiography demonstrate microaneurysm in the affected organ. Itu ke boleh tu bleeding appearance. Jadi, aku cuci lama. Emo biopsy shows necrotizing inflammation. The infiltrate is composed of neutrophil granulomas are absent. Treatment itu idiopathic panel treatment macam corticosteroid and cyclophosphamide. Hepatitis B to the associated mite. In that case, plasma fluorescence antiviral agent should be considered. Azathioprine can be used as a maintenance therapy and typically has fewer side effects than cyclophosphamide. पैन <laughs> एब्डोमिनल पेन थके मेजरली इश्कुमियर मोतो दिन मोचे पेशेंट के पास्कुलर टिकेस थके मोनोरियर टी मल्टीप्लेक्स थके ये रखूं बरेनाल फेलियर नो पेशेंट शुड बी यंग यंग ना मिडिल एज में नहीं मोटे पर ये भी यूपी पॉसिबल दिन मोचे कांसर के डिजीज़ कांसर के डिजीज़ ने आमदे इमर्सिपी तक क्वेश्चन आशे र it is a predominantly seen in the children. It is a very uncommon disease, but it is a potential serious complication it might develop, like coronary artery and aneurysm. High grade fever that usually lasts about about five days. And when fever that they have, they are very resistant to antibiotics. Conventional like injection, that I am going to talk about today. Bright red cracked lips, that I am going to talk about today. The strawberry tongue, tongue itself is that I am not. But this is a very classic strawberry tongue. Cervical lymph node neuropathy, that is. Red palms of the hand and soles of the feet, which later feel. Is it? Can I tell you something? Heart to lung is a very major feel for them. If you have strawberry tongue, so after patient who has got features, that is, the patient has strawberry tongue, conventional injection, lip, lip tear, or something like that, then we should think about cause of disease. It is a clinical diagnosis because there is no specific diagnostic test. Management, it is a management important because. Causative disease management is equally different on the vascular disease. So, when the treatment is done, there are high risk aspirin. But some people think that they are aspirin day because there is a risk of raised encephalopathy. But a causative disease is there. Causative disease is one of the few indications for the use of aspirin in children. Due to the risk of raised syndrome, aspirin is normally contraindicated in children. Adequate treatment model is called IVIG, intravenous immunoglobulin. Combination therapy with intravenous immunoglobulin and aspirin during the acute phase of causative disease produces a and inflammatory effect and reduction in the coronary artery abnormalities than just the aspirin alone. We don't equal cardiography for the habit because of the initial screening test for coronary artery and geogram in the follow-up kit and follow-up kit and equal cardiography. Some of the house that we have to have is a young, like baby children, patient they are compact with the lymph, strawberry tongue, lymph adenopathy, patient with toxic tongue, jaw tongue, even patient with aneurysm, coronary aneurysm, the blood pressure, some of the other. Treatment is very important, but it is a little bit different. It is a treatment which is high risk aspirin, SN, intravenous immunoglobulin. Complication, coronary artery angiogram in 20, uh, coronary artery aneurysm in case of 25% cases. Okay. 
the next one this is a very important and most of the mrcb question ashe ei vasculitis ta ke target kore ashe gpa granulomatous polyangiitis jeta age naam chilo vascular granulomatous ha ebong ei ta ebong mane sobche beshi question kon vasculitis theke ashe jodi bolen shekhate ami bolbo prothome shobar age gpa shobar age gpa granulomatous polyangiitis then hocche temporal arteritis ebong charstro syndrome theke ashe ei tin ta hocche sobche important tar poro baki gulo apnader jante hobe kon vasculitis khubi
small vessels vasculitis. Usually, the PRT antibody is associated with vaginal granulomatosis, whereas the microscopic polyangitis antibody is associated with microscopic MPO antibody is associated with microscopic polyangitis, which is closely linked. Microscopic uh, polyangitis is kind of similar to the vaginal granulomatosis, except three things. First, it only affects the small blood vessels in the lungs or kidney. No nasopharyngeal damage at vaginas. When upper respiratory tract involvement, microscopic polyangitis are named. Associated with PANSA antibody. PANSA, yeah, our vaginas are into the CYANTA. That's it. Anti NPO, that is PYANTA, antibody strongly positive, then anti protein is 3, that is the CYANTA. No granuloma and dabs, you can have a granuloma power jam. So it is a basic difference, but it is closely similar. Features is closely similar like vaginous granulomatosis or granulomatosis with poly granulomatosis with polyangitis. Then another uh, small vessels vasculitis. This is also very important of for uh, MRCP exam. That is the charge trostrinium, that are the arica which have been eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangitis. So that's it. One kind of patient with history that has a long term asthma. Patient that has asthma, patient that has improvement, put chin on a treatment, they have a cash with their vasculitic gas, or say mononeuritis, mononeuritis, multiplex develop process. In that case, you should think about charge trostrinium. In the abortion patient, where Yes, in a filia that way. We have a confirm for the thing with the biopsy. With the biopsy, a biopsy camera, which is rash, even vasculitic rash, regular with the biopsy, we can see the deposit of yes in a filia. Tarsal syndrome is an unsupposed associated small vessel vasculitis, asthma, that way, blood, yes in a filia, usually above 10%, paranasal sinusitis, mononeuritis, multiple expansive positive, commonly associated with anti myoparoxidase antibody. Really, it can cause ischemic optic neuropathy, which can present with visual loss. Liquidine receptor antagonist, that is the Montelicus, may precipitate the disease. So, it is a very mystery that the patient Montelicus has on it. That's right. A diagnosis of charge sustain requires four of the following features. Active of them, genes will be active, but it will be a particular chapter of the tract. Asthma, eosinophilia, greater than 10%, mononeuropathy or polyneuropathy, paranasal abnormality, non fixed hormone, infiltrated, visible on chest radiograph, blood vessels with extravascular neosinophilia baths. So, this is the biopsy findings. That's right. It is diagnosed clinically, all the biopsy should be sought for pathological confirmation. Skin biopsy reveals small vessels are to with granuloma formation and is the diagnostic investigation of choice. Treatment acidopone, high dose methylprednisolone with or without cyclophosphamide is the treatment of choice. Then, arecta vasculitis, that is Phenox choline particula. It has had to try it with the particula, abdominal pain, arthritis, renal impairment. It has had to suggest that. Patient with proteinuria have a worse prognosis than patient with hematuria alone. Pathable particle for rash can be found with localized edema over buttocks, excess surface of the arms or legs. The patient have a complaint of abdominal pain to blood vasculitis, which may be severe in some cases leading to bloody diarrhea. It's a polyarthritis pattern. But the important feature is that they usually get sort of associated patterns with immunoglobulin A nephropathy. That's what I do not mean. Hematuria, renal failure, it will not develop for it. HSP nephritis become clinically manifest in only 20 to 30 percent of the patient. It usually presents as a macroscopic hematuria and proteinuria. Of those patients with renal involvement, as many as 10 percent may develop chronic renal failure and S2 renal disease. However, fewer than 1 percent of all patients with HSP suffer this poor prognosis. When HSP prognosis is usually valid. Overall, the vascular disease prognosis is valid. In comparison, HSP prognosis is better. Shadhana is self-sumitic disease and astrocytic depression improves for the time. That's it. This is why we have to see palpable particles for lady exercise surface and body to take the body. That's it. Biopsy is a diagnosis problem with the skin biopsy and immunofluorescence demonstrate lipocytoplastic vasculitis with immunoglobulin A deposition, meaning lots of white blood cells in the skin around the small vessels, which is pathognomonic for HSP. Immunofluorescence studies will reveal immunoglobulin E deposits within the blood vessels. So, a important thing is that if you have a genome of the whole cell, you have a biopsy findings of the answer, you have a diagnosis of the whole cell. So, if you have a biopsy, you have a feature, diagnosis, and what can be the Findings in case of skin bags. So, on one regular features, we don't talk about the age in which the answer to be put down. The lipocytoplastic vasculitis, because it is HSP.
treatment fee analgesia for arthralgia treatment of nephropathy is generally supported. All patients with hypertension and proteinuria, data holds usually one gram per day, which is we started on ACR with drugs, which may control the BP and proteinuria. Once the BP has been controlled, patients should have a renal biopsy. As in, uh, if this showed a changes of the chrysanthic glomerular nephritis, then an immunosuppressive regime similar to that used in renal vascularity should be started, like this uh, hydrous methyl prednisolone and cyclosuximide. There is inconsistent, inconsistent evidence for the use of steroid and immunosuppressant. Management of HSP in adults in adult, uh, involves the use of immunomodulatory or immunosuppressive regimen in contrast to the children where the majority of the cases results not in this. For RT, our vascularity is also such a cryoglobulinemia. After cryoglobulinemia, some of the time it is poor. Immunoglobulin, which undergo reversible precipitation at four degrees Celsius, results when warmed at 37 degrees Celsius. One third of the cases are idiopathic. The three types are also type one, type two, type three. Type one types are monoclonal immunoglobulin G or M type, is usually associated with multiple myeloma and Walden's from macroglobulin. Type two is a mixed monoclonal and polyclonal, usually associated with positive RS. Association with hepatitis C, limited arthritis, short rates, and lymphoma. That is polyclonal. So, protein beta was a monoclonal, last time was a polyclonal, usually associated with RS, association with limited arthritis, and short rates. Patient gave air from vascular pics, palpable parpura, air from rash knees, and from the acid. Reynolds only seen in type 1 type of pathway, cutaneous vascular parpura, distal ulceration, ulceration in the by arthralgia, renal involvement, data basis, chlorine effects. Treatment, uh, test amra pilot to low complement level, usually C4 high ESR. Treatment, immunosuppression, and plasma test in case of fibrogen vascularis. Addicta was a best test, you know. Data can see Kashila amra, who have a vascularis classification of the parina, but this is another example so, which goes with the descriptions of vascularis. It is a complex multi system disorder associated with preserved autoimmune mediated inflammations of the arteries and veins. It affects small and large vessels, so venous and arterial vitae involves for it. The classic triads of the symptoms are oral ulcer, genital ulcer, and anterior fever. It's not the combination that it can oral ulcer, genital ulcer. If the patient drops any oral ulcer, genital ulcer combination that we should think about bed sets. Epidemiology was in the southern eastern Mediterranean, the population more common in men. Then to affect the young adults, if an association as with HLB5 year protein. Specifically, HLB51. It is even the question as to happen. It is HLB as an association. Around 30% of the patient has a positive family history. They can have a chubby get the patsy oral ulcer, they can have a genital ulcer, they can have a chubby in the IP spray, hypopion. After a tiny nuts, they can have a chubby get the patsy, they can have a pass to me at the end of the year. This is hypopion. They can have a chubby. Classically, patient with features faculty, oral ulcer, genital ulcer, and genitalitis. It's a thromboflebitis, seronegative arthritis, neurological involvement, GI involvement like abdominal pain, diarrhea, colitis, GI, the monogosum, DVD, that's why test positive faculty, which is a fever factor. Diagnostic test, no definitive test, diagnosis based on clinical findings, among pathology test is that suggested. Pathology test money is after site following needle to become inflamed with a small passive formation. Patient can needle to only the quick for a high, that's the arm, a high, then for it to fall up for a high, even that has a small, small passive developer. This is called a pathology test. The international study group criteria for classification of breast disease requires the presence of a recurrent oral ulceration, minor aptus, major aptus, or heart from ulceration observed by the physicians or patient, which have required at least three times in a 12 month period, and two of the following. We are recurrent genital ulceration, aptus ulceration, or scarring observed by the physicians or patient eye lesion in the form of anti uveitis, posterior uveitis, or cells in the vitreous and sleep time examination, or retinal vasculitis, skin lesion in the form of eritomonotosum, then pseudofolliculitis or papular pustular lesions, acne from nodules, then what's your positive pathology test? You should wait by the physician at 24 to 40 hours. Treatment in treatment, which is the first line of treatment. So this is all about a vascular a vasculitis discussion today. The 30 major movies is for the chilo, but says put the video daily together. This is my email address. If you have any queries regarding exam or preparation, or if you need the PDF of my presentation, you can contact me in email. I will send it forward to you.
and karo kono question thakle korte paren first of all it is abar boli eta khubi important porikha purpose e khubi important bhalo kore porben conception le clear korte hobe kon vasculitis ki bhabe present hobe ebong question beshi beshi kore solve korben tahole shohoj hoye jabe kar vasculitis er question apnar renal system theke aste pare rheumatological disease theke aste pare bibhinno pattern e aste pare so amader vasculitis somporke eta clear idea thakbe tahole amar class ajke ekhane shesh best wishes shobai ke for the exam I love this.